I think that you know the draws have fallen very well because if you take the rivalry that's that ha- that's there, it's age old between Galway and Mayo. It's intense, and uh, while Mayo were the team of the championship last year, and they are the team to beat in Connacht by all accounts, Galway have a bounce now. The second under thirty one in three years, and um, you know they 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 will rise to it, and they have it at home in Pierce Stadium, and. You know, turnovers have happened in the past and you'd never know what, you know, nobody can predict what will happen. The league was an unusual um, experience for us, really. But with, with the um, with the game some coming so thick and fast on May 19th, if we got to a league final, we've only had three three weeks to 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 prepare for the Connacht Championship. So, in a way, we were delighted. The, the main objective of the league was to, to survive. Um, we got to a semi-final. We tried our best against Dublin, but unfortunately came up short. But all in all, with the league, we would be quite happy the way it went. We're playing Galway, um, in Galway. So, um, that's a test that you want. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that challenge. We prepared well for it. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's been in our minds since the beginning of the year. So, um, as I'm sure it has been for Galway. I think it was a quite an up and down league for Galway. We we, we we had some good performances followed by some very poor performances as well. So obviously the, the consistency wasn't there that we were actually craving. We started quite well against the, the eventual champions, Derry. I think we were the only team to beat them and we, we came close to beating Westmead and Tume as well. We, we, we ended up drawing, but it's a game we really should have won. So by those performances against obviously the eventual finalists, that we took a lot of positives from that. We have a nice young team. Um, we've done a lot of work during the winter. Now, there's not a lot of expected of, of us. We're, we're the underdogs and, and we like that position. We like uh, we like going into it with no pressure on us and we're going to play a bit of football. The Connacht Championship to me, before I came here, would have been always interesting because there's um, you have you always have the flair of Galway. You never know what they're going to do. You have the hugely energetic Mayo. You have the resilience and toughness of Roscommon. I always fancy Sligo because their slickness. Uh, they seem to be able to stick goals uh, left, right and centre. Leitrim, then, are the, I suppose, uh, they've been the minnows and have risen above the parapet and it is great to see them. Uh, so Connacht football is competitive. It's honest. Great tradition in it. Our ambition, number one, is to get to the Connacht final. Now, you know, when you get to a Connacht final, you know, on the day, it's a day that, you know, any team can perform and the team that performs can win. And it's rarely you ever see a lopsided or a one-sided Connacht final. We're getting stronger since the league ended. It's just we had a few knocks now. Nothing that would have, you know, you accept that every year through the league and we prepared as best we could for the league. Like, but it's great to get lads back and with a few new fellas coming in and lads showing up. So it's great for these few weeks, you know, everyone's been pushed at training and there's that little bit of edge as to how the championship team will be. We've been working on a game plan, so I suppose, since I've been involved for the last two and a half years, and we're going to try and implement that as best we can and, and give Sligo a good game. If things go right for us, we might end up the right side of the result, but we're going to focus on our performance first, and if, th- if, we, if we do that, the result will look after itself.